Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, affects over 16 million Americans. COPD causes lung damage that obstructs airflow, interferes with the lungs taking up oxygen and removing carbon dioxide, and produces symptoms such as productive cough, wheezing, and exercise limitations due to shortness of breath. In the U.S., tobacco smoke is the most common exposure that causes COPD. About 15% of all COPD cases can be attributed to workplace exposures, such as dust, gases, and chemical fumes. In this video, people suffering from COPD will share their real-life stories and will discuss the importance of considering work-related exposures as a potential cause of COPD. I went to work as an underground mechanic, pump mechanic, and uh, worked hand in hand with the uranium miners. When I was working underground, I always was hanging off the bulkhead somewhere on one of those little chairs. And I'll, all I was breathing was the smoke that I was burning, where I was burning the rod and the dust that was coming up. Because the fans that were there were on the surface, all the dust came up the shaft, past whatever, whoever was there, and got expelled out the top of the shaft. So when I was out down there working in a pump station, welding or whatever, I was breathing that air that was coming up the shaft and going to the surface. COPD is a serious public health problem that imposes an enormous burden on individual patients and the nation's healthcare system. It is the fourth leading cause of disability and also the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. Cigarette smoking is the leading cause of COPD, accounting for 75% of cases. But there are other causes, including exposure to air pollutants in the workplace and at home, genetic factors, and respiratory infections. 15% of COPD cases are due to various airborne exposures at work. These cases are said to have work-related COPD. In my jobs when I started, uh, started at ground floor of labor in, in the construction business. Moved up to uh, working at building custom homes. I worked with a lot of different products, you know, mainly natural woods. And then I, uh, new products would come out on the market that uh, were composites and <laughs> They weren't all natural, so when you start cutting into those products and working with them, there's an amount of air pollution that goes along with that. I started working about 1964 as an iron worker. I worked in Los Alamos for on and off about two or three years, and I did a lot of welding there. Well, I welded. Uh, Iron, I welded aluminum, I welded stainless steel. And uh, when you're welding, sometimes my welding hood would fill up with smoke and just kept welding. And uh, maybe take a break once in a while, but. And, and then the, everybody else was welding around there too, so there was a lot of uh, smoke and then dust because they were doing different things. My work was in a transportation of uh, materials for the government. When I was a driver, also a agent, we were around diesel fumes, both in our uh, vans and our semi-tractor trailers. Where they were loading these vehicles would actually be in just enclosed areas and Sometimes it would be in North Dakota or some place like that, and you had to leave the trucks running, otherwise it would be too cold. I mean, you could actually see the smoke from the stacks on the trucks and things coming out. So. Before I retired, I think I, I was diagnosed with, uh, with asthma, and uh, then later on I was diagnosed with COPD, and I believe I that was caused by the welding films and asbestos and all the dust I work with. And 
and a lot about different things that I don't even know what I worked with because they never told us. If you do have respiratory symptoms, please don't ignore them. Please go discuss them with your provider. Do tell them what you're doing currently and what you've done in the past. The latency of this disease can be several decades. So if you've had a very, for instance, a very dusty job two decades ago, that may still be relevant to the causation of symptoms at this point in time. It wasn't until later, oh, I would say about 20 years after I, I quit mining, that I was diagnosed with COPD. Well, when I first noticed that I figured something was going on, I started getting short of breath. You know, I'd get congested and stuff, but mainly uh, you start losing your lung capacity. I noticed that about when I was in my 50s, I guess. You know, I didn't think about yeah, what I was doing to myself or what my job was even doing to me. But I was proud of what I did. The advice that I give to physicians and other providers taking care of patients with work-related COPD is take these symptoms seriously. Do ask them the question, what is your current job? What have you done in the past? What were you exposed to? Because if you don't ask that question, and we know many physicians don't ask that question, you will miss the diagnosis of work-related COPD.